the Green Futures Lab Biodiversity Green Wall and it's accompanied by a water harvesting system that takes water from the roof and also what we're calling the edible green screen that grows uh, kiwi and hops up the side of this institutional university building. And the biodiversity green wall um, is actually two panels. They move and uh, the species that we've planted on them are 50 to 80 percent native uh, and all species that we expect will thrive in this eastward facing uh, aspect. So what's special about this biodiversity green wall? I think the first thing that's really unique about it is that it actually moves. These two 10 by 10 panels are on a track so that we can uh, move them over to the balconies to maintain them and do the monitoring, do, do the close-up monitoring. This is a very innovative solution that panels are hanging and then with the winch we can just crank them over to the balconies. It's, they just move about 15 feet and to get them to go back into their home positions, which is out towards the corner of the building, uh, they're just, they just go by gravity. We have a track, a gutter, under the, on the top of the lower wall to collect water from the upper one so that it doesn't uh, drip on it. It may also be unique that we're irrigating it mostly with water collected from the roof. We have a big building, uh, about a quarter of the roof now drains into these two cisterns that uh, then pump up water and irrigate on a very regular basis in this semi-hydroponic system to keep the green wall thriving. As the green screen grows, we would be able to compare what are the differences between the green screen and the green wall in terms of the benefit that it provides on all of those counts for thermal impacts to the building, for heat island effect, for biodiversity. For the edible green screen, we can monitor how much food it actually produces. So how much kiwi will we get off of our kiwi vines? and how many hot flowers can we get and how much beer might that produce at the local brewery. Well, it was actually um, an inspiration, I think, from sitting in the Green Futures Lab and looking out at this very blank east-facing wall and thinking how great it would be to have a green wall. We had a student, a landscape architecture student, who very generously gave the Green Futures Lab a small grant. And so we thought if we could use that for seed funding, it would be a, a really wonderful tribute to the donation. And then we, we worked with a local firm, a budding firm called Sol Solterra, who does has done several green walls and they seem to be successful. We looked at ones that they had done in Seattle. Solterra was able to do everything. So the process has been having all these meetings through the design process, producing drawings, um, figuring out did we need a permit, getting funding for the actual construction from the Campus Sustainability Fund, and um, then to do the contracting with Solterra. It was designed by a total of eight students over the course of the year. Um, four different disciplines, architecture, landscape architecture, and ecology, and then civil engineering. All these students got together and they visualized schematic design, um, working with uh, the university. More than 50 people over the course of a year um, that sat down and reviewed our drawings, looking at different design concepts. We had a charrette at the College of Built Environment here at the University of Washington where we went through different designs and how they would fit into the garden as well as the campus culture and the building architecture. The students put together a construction document set and then prepared it and um, picked Solterra as our contractor and we went through the construction process um, which started in May and finishing up now in October. A lot of the elements of our green wall are playing off of the garden that's below, the very garden. And the use of Corten steel is mimics what is found in the garden, as well as the uh, arcs, the swooshes in the planting design, mimics the circular structure in the garden below. So we wanted to have this blend of landscape and architecture going up the building as well as down 
into the garden. Perforated corten steel is linear and it accents the horizontality of the building. So it reflects both the architecture and the landscape.